okay all right now I'm gonna draw your attention to the properties here what it does is it pops up the message saying that hey the, the, the .NET framework is not installed and install URL it will give a user to this it will drag it will redirect the user to this uh, URL saying that you can get a copy of the .NET framework from here okay uh, and, uh, and one more thing that you can do is that uh, you know you can add more launch conditions okay and apart from the launch condition let's let me just talk about what such target machine is for example I'm just gonna add one here okay now I, I'll just name this one as uh, sorry for that I'm just gonna name this one as uh, win word windows word okay now there are certain conditions that uh, when you're installing an application you want to make sure that a uh, certain uh, software is installed in, a, in the client's computer and you want your application or you want your setup to search for that in the client's computer okay so this is what it will do it will search the target machine it will search your client's computer for this very so in for this very software for this very piece of software and you can you can have a minimum version of that for example if you're only targeting uh, Windows to uh, MS Office 2000 or MS Office 2003 or a certain version of that you can set that one here okay you can have a file name for example it's gonna be WinWord th 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 that is the file because uh, even if you type WinWord in the uh, in the run uh, dialog box it's gonna uh, open up the Windows Word okay and here we can say search for this one in the program files folder we can specify that one here and we can give a depth as 3 because it's gonna go to the C root and then program files and then uh, to the consecutive files alright and here we can have maximum <coughs> that, that way uh, you know for example if it's a minimum version minimum version means if I specify 2002 then Windows uh, MS Office 98 is not really gonna work alright so uh, and uh, the installer will search for that here so I'm just gonna remove that because this is only for the demonstration purpose let me just show you one more thing and it's really gonna get you excited alright I'm gonna go to the view menu editor and I'm gonna choose the user interface what it does is it takes you through the uh, you know it, it, it goes through the steps like uh, the first thing that's gonna take place is the, the install and then it's gonna come up with the welcome message saying that hey and then you can uh, install to which uh, folder or which to which directory you want to install this application to and then it's gonna show up the uh, confirm installation and then it's gonna come up with the progress bar you know things like that now I wanna I wanna include one more thing here and that is the uh, say I wanna add one more dialog here and that would be say a license agreement I wanna include a license agreement into this one okay so uh, well it got uh, added down here actually I want this one to come right after the welcome uh, message I'm gonna move this one up a little bit there you go okay now I can include a license file here and I can go to the properties and select the license file and browse for that and it's gonna show up either it's gonna ask me to include or to look for a, a, a license file and it should only it should be in the rich text format always it's not gonna accept a license file in text format or in uh, Windows uh, uh, Word format it should always be in the rich text format and there is the RTF file so if you have one uh, in your application folder you can look for that well I don't have that one here so what I'm gonna do now is I can ca click on cancel I can go back to the application folder I can right click this add and I'm gonna include a file that will be the rich text file okay so this is my license agreement here in my uh, in my uh, uh, program file in my application folder so to speak and I can include that one here there you go so my license agreement is in the application for in the is in the application folder so I'm gonna go back to my user interface click on the user agreement go to the license file now I can locate my license file I can 